Okay, this week, what we're going to do is we're going to put in some fog lights, some factory fog lights, and a switch inside. That way, this S model will be similar to an SL with fog lights from the factory. It already has the wires pre-wired from the factory. We just need to add in the fog lights and the switch. To start with, I'm using my plastic tool here. I'm going to pull out on the finisher on the inside. I'm just going to pop it loose and be able to pop it out. Once you have the front two clips, these should just pop out. You'll, you'll take them at a di diagonal. Those will pop right out. We'll get the other one. And I don't recommend using a metal screwdriver on this. It's very difficult. Plus, you might scratch your face in that. If you have to, you may want to wrap it in tape, do something similar. Once this one's out, we can install the fog lights here with the bolt in the back, plug in the front. We're just going to go inside and do the stock. Okay, the S models are all pre wired for fog lights, meaning the wiring is run from the dash into here. You just don't have a switch and you don't have the fog lights. Under each headlamp, there's actually a wiring harness that's taped up. If you go underneath the car, you can find it there easily, or you can also look down. If you look down directly below the headlamps, look down, there's, there's a harness and a connector there. You're just going to pull those down and actually break that tape loose. Once you do that, you can feed it through the fog lamp there, put the fog lamp to the connector on both sides, and then on the back side, you'll need to get in. It'll, if you buy a kit for someone like Versus Speed or an OEM supplier, there was a bolt for the back side. That can be reached if you jack the car up, do the bolt in there, tighten that up. That will secure the fog lamps to the fascia. But once you're done there, we'll have to take these. Now I need to cut these out so that you can get light through this. Then that, we'll move to the inside. So once I get this set up, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, I've moved inside into the garage here. And next I'm going to take my finishers and I'm actually going to cut out the center of them. Now you want to just cut to where the, just to the inside of the, of the bezel here. I put it in a vise. Of course, I have uh, plastic clamps in here. That way, it won't damage this finisher. And I can also see this very well. Just remember, if you use a Dremel or anything else you're going to do, it's going to have flying particles, wear some glasses, safety glasses, goggles, or anything like that. Once I get this done, I'll show you how it turns out. For now, time to get some work done. Okay, we're done with the first one. It took me about 15 minutes. I uh, just took my time. If you notice around the edge of the back, there is a ring, and that's where they change out between fixing uh, the fog light and non fog light. So, what you want to do is you want to cut the inside all the way up until that ring, that length, scribe edge there. That way, the fog lamp will fit directly in here. And once you're done with that, we'll move on to the next one. See you when I'm done with the second. I do have uh, both of them done. I have put both the lamps in and put both finishers on. Now I just need to go back inside the car. I'm going to take apart the uh, center of the column there, take the plastic off, then I'm going to change the uh, fog lamp switch, and the insulation will be done. See you on the inside. Okay, now with the front half of the car done, the fog lights and the fascia, here's the easy part. I'm just going to use a simple Phillips screwdriver. Underneath, the steering column cover, there's three screws. They'll come out. Once you take those out, this upper and lower half are going to pop apart. So you just need to kind of give a little bit of pressure here and recommend letting the steering column move. So these will actually pop apart. It's just going to take a little bit of pressure just to get them apart. This upper one will come right out and you can just set on the floor. You can take your key ring out which just pops out and then you can also take the lower out here and just remember everything's tight so it's going to take a little bit of toggling around it's not a problem here's the lower piece here's the switch on the top and the bottom there's actually just a little uh, a little tab to press in you're going to press both of those and just give it a little pull and the turn signal switch comes right out. All it does is just like a plug. So in order to put a new one in, we'll take it. It'll slide in, make sure it goes in the channel. 
once you hear it, it'll click, make, give it a little tug out, that may make sure it's connected, bottom piece will go in, top piece will go in, just like we did, put your keyring back in, put your three screws in, use your screwdriver, and once you're done there, this job is easy, it's done, and you got fog lights. That's it for this week. Visit us on the forums, nissanversa.org.